Hello, and welcome to the Tutorial Toolbox. My name is Tobias, and this is Unity 101, Episode 11. In this tutorial, well, this tutorial is a direct follow-up on our enemies and attacking tutorial that we started in Episode 10. So this is Part 2, and today we are going to give our enemies... Let's just call them enemy. We're gonna give our enemies health. So add a component new script enemy. Just gonna move it into the scripts folder. Let's open it up and let's start. So first of all, what we want is we want a public float max health. Then we want a float, a private, a private float current health. Just for now, at least. Uh, let's set this equal to ten. When we start, we want the current health to be equal to max health. All right. So, on update, if current health is less than or equal to 0, 0 0.0f, destroy this dot game object. So, if the enemy is out of health, we will destroy the game object. Let's just make this public for easy viewing. Then we want to add a public void attack. Hmm, what should we call it? Let's just call it a attack, shall we? Attack. Nah, attack. All right. Um, and float damage. Actually, let's call it loose health. Uh, it doesn't matter, just make sure that your function names are something that you can remember, something that makes sense. Lose health. Uh, this uh, current health minus equals damage. So that's simple enough. And in our player, we want to do. Here we want to get nearest enemy dot get component enemy dot oh sorry dot lose health 2.0f. Uh, we made it a float, didn't we? Yeah. So we lose he loses two health every time. Let's see if it works. Let's highlight our enemy so we can see his current health. And he died. Uh, of course, we did remove the anim. Dot set trigger tag. So, attacking, sorry, let's see if that fixes it, it, it does, so let's see, how long is our animation? 
can we see that here? Uh, it, it was two seconds. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to set a cooldown on the attack in our player. Um, public float attack CD for cooldown is 3. Point, uh, so 3 seconds cooldown and then we want a private float attack CD left to be 0.0f and then we want Hmm. How should we do this? Time the delta time. I'm actually quite not quite sure how we get the time that has passed. So let us just try and figure it out. Uh, but one thing is sure, we got to take an attack CD left is equal to attack CD. And we also want attack CD left to be equal to 0 0.0F. And then here, let's just say attack CD left minus equals time that delta time and let's see what that does because I'm not quite sure let's just move up and nothing happens now okay Start off by, of course, if attack CD left is greater than 0.0F, then we want it to be diminished. We doesn't, we don't want it to be less. So let's try again. Alright, so it doesn't diminish enough. Hmm. Give me a moment to figure this out. Alright, so I figured it out. And what it is, is because that we need to say that a taxi left needs to be less than or equal to. Because 10 does a time when we minus it like this, it's going to take it... Um below zero at some point and it won't work so let's enemy let's attack can attack again until three seconds has passed we attack again this is just me pressing the spacebar and here he died so let's see nine minutes this has been a really short tutorial, but I'll I'd, I'd rather I rather want them short than I want them too long. So now we can attack our our enemy, and he has health. And when he loses all his health, he's going to die. So that's all good. And next time in part three of this, we will. Make it so that our enemy can attack us, and if we lose our all our health, we are going to die. Uh, so that's been all. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe if you want to stay up to date with the channel. As I said last time, uh, when once we reach 10 subscribers, I'm going to start a new series. So 
please subscribe so we can reach our goal. That would be great. Thank you guys for watching. It's been amazing. I'll see you guys next time.